Well, if you're expecting a gift for the holidays from someone in the Generation Z or Millennial cohort, it might be a bigger gift than in previous years. That's according to some numbers PwC has compiled. So for reaction this morning, let's bring in Bruce Winder. He is a retail analyst and author. Bruce, the uh, headline I took from this is, I need younger friends. Uh, <laughs> the numbers that they're willing to spend over the holiday season, staggeringly larger than, you know, people Gen X and otherwise. Yeah, I was really surprised when I read the report by PwC they put out this morning on holiday 2024. I mean, they're predicting that uh, Generation Z and millennials are going to spend, you know, somewhere between 40 to 50 percent mm. more. Uh, which is interesting, but in contrast to boomers and Xers who are going to spend about 10% less. So it sounds like different generations are opening their pocketbook more than others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting because we just had a, a business study report uh, show that a lot of Gen Zs are actually getting, you know, fired or from their jobs or employers are not so happy with Generation Z. So I'm wondering where this money is coming from. But turning back to this study, uh, let's talk about some of the, the preferred spending habits of this younger generation, this cohort. Yeah, the younger generation, they don't have a lot of loyalty to loyalty programs, unlike the rest of their cohorts. And they're looking for gifts um, that are meaningful. They're looking for gifts from companies that have a social purpose. Um, they're looking for gifts that are better, la longer lasting and higher quality. And they're even looking to buy uh, used items, thrifted items from brands as well. Bruce, what does this say to retailers? How do they take this data and say, hmm, okay, so it looks like the Gen Zs and Millennials, they're the ones looking to spend more. Are they the ones necessarily with the disposable income, though? Because I always think it's like the Xers and the Boomers mm -hmm. that have the money. Yeah, it's a great point. I mean, I think a lot of the Gen Z are just starting out, you know, in their jobs, so they probably don't have massive disposable income, but they are looking to spend about $2,300 on average, which is the most, you know, compared to, say, Xers who are spending about twelve dollars or $1,300. So marketers will have to pay a lot of attention to them. The key is they're going to have to serve up their marketing very different to each uh, demographic, each cohort, mm -hmm. to really talk to them. And they're going to use things like generative AI and things like that to try to do that. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about tangible gifts. Uh, I'm probably in this category where I do like a gift that someone, I, I, don't, I do not like gift cards, but apparently the older generation kind of favors that while the younger generation, they like the things that, you know, you can touch that has meaning that shows that you actually went out and bought something because you thought about this person. <laughs> Yeah, that was a key insight from the report, right? You know, gift cards are more apt to be used by the uh, Gen Xers, boomers, and even some millennials. But yeah, Gen Z doesn't want gift cards. They probably perceive it to be too impersonal. Mm. They want something, you know, that the person remembers them by, someone to, something to connect with them. So quite an interesting uh, analysis here by PwC. And also, uh, Bruce, PwC talk about how, how PwC thinks retailers can capitalize on this surge. We're sitting here on October the 8th talking about the holiday shopping season that I suppose really kicks in around Black Friday. Mm -hmm. it, is, is it not too late to sort of try to adjust at this point or can retailers really turn and pivot based on what they see in reports like this? It's a little late. I mean, retail actually, you know, the holiday started, you know, today, really, because I think Prime is on today, Amazon's mm -hmm. Prime. And yeah. that's when it kicks off the whole thing. But yeah, retailers can try to adjust if they're small. But if, you know, it's hard because you can't get inventory now, right? Inventory usually takes, you know, 60, 90 days to get. So uh -huh. it's going to be hard to react to this, but they can try to do the best they can with what they have in store. Hmm. Okay, so the takeaway, make younger friends. Big if you spenders are the young kids. spenders, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There exactly. you have it. Bruce Winder, a retail analyst and author. Thanks so much for joining us again, Bruce. Great to see you. Thank, Thank you. We'll chat yeah, soon, Thanks Bruce. for having me on.